your number one source for high school sports. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. Hello and welcome to Dothan High School where the Dothan Wolves are taking on the Panthers of Geneva. I'm Mitt Kirkland with uh, Willie tonight. Got Willie uh, Elder on the mic tonight. So Willie, uh, what do you think tonight? I don't know. I, it should be a pretty interesting game here. Uh, I think uh, Geneva is like a 4A school. It's yeah. sub May, so it should be pretty interesting. And these t two teams played earlier in mm -hmm. the season and Dothan won it by a score of 68 to 30. Nine. Geneva gets the tip in the game for Geneva's number zero Johnson, number ten Threat, number two Williams, number twenty-five Griffin. Shot missed and it's rebounded by Dowd. And for Dothan, it's number five Thomas Dowd, number zero Raymond Blackman, number two uh, Mackay Menifee, number three Keith Stampley, and number four Bryson Berry. Ball goes into Dowd. He kicks it back out to Menifee. Dowd for a long three, and it doesn't go, but it's rebounded by Dothan, and Dowd picks up the loose foul. And under the basket, Opal was stamply, but they didn't see him. Dothan is the 7A Area 3 champions. A long three missed, and Dow goes up for a high rebound. And nice pass out of the basket from Blackman to Stampley for two. Dothan goes up 2 nothing. Geneva's trying to find something open. Johnson, the ball goes in, and the shot is taken by number 25, Griffin. And we have a foul. That foul is on number two, which will be Menifee at the line. It's number 25, Evan Griffin. And the first shot is off the mark. It seems like Dalton's playing like a 3-2. And almost like a 3-2 and a 1-2-2 in a sense on defense. So Griffin missed both of the free throws, but Dalton gets the ball and it goes out of bounds. Mm -hmm. So the ball will go back to the Panthers. So the Wolves lose it out of bounds. Time out on the court. 6-11 left and the first to score is Dothan 2, Geneva nothing. You're watching the Senate Sports Network. Threat takes it out for Geneva. Goes into uh, number two is uh, Williams. Shot up. Missed. Rebound. Put back. No go. Dothan on the break. Shot and is blocked that time by number 25, Evan Griffin. Dalton should have an advantage for his rebound because they're big, bigger inside. Ball goes into Stampley over to Dowd. Pass over back to Blackman. Cross court pass. Lone three. And it goes in for number two. Makai Menifee knocks in a three. That gives Dalton a 5 nothing lead. And think that Dothan's going to pick up that second team foul. So Menifee picks up his second foul, so he's going to take a seat and replace him as number 13, Michael Coleman. Shot up, missed. And it's stripped away. Dow, and he kicks it back to Blackman, who passes it right back to 
down, and it's good for two. Thomas down. Shot, missed, rebounded by Stampley. Dothan on the break. They decide to hold it up. Dow shoots and misses. Boy. Put back, no good. Second effort, no good. Dow gets the third time, and it's not the charm. And it's blocked out of bounds that time by Griffin. Hmm. Great effort on the Dothan end, but they couldn't get anything to fall for them. And it's a turnover by Geneva. And the slam, and it can't. <laughs> They tried for the alley Uber and it didn't quite work for Dothan. Oh, shucks. And a nice feed down to Griffin for two. So Geneva gets on the board. It's five. It's uh, seven to two. And Dothan turns the ball over. Johnson. He drives and feeds the ball under the basket and the tip don't go, but Geneva keeps it alive. Threat shoots, no good, and it's rebounded by Blackman to Dalton. Blackman's looking ahead, he gets it to Dow. Dow pulls up for the three and misses, but rebound and we have a foul. A foul is on number 25. They go to call it on number 10. That would be Threat. At the line for Dothan, number four, Bryson Berry. He'll be shooting too. First attempt is up and good for, for Berry. And a whole bunch of substitutes in for Geneva. And for Dothan is number 10, Braxton Hornsby. Second attempt, it's good. So Barry hits both of his free throws and Dothan goes up nine to two. 345 left in the opening period. And Dothan goes for the steal, but it's taken by Weeks of Geneva. And Dow gets the rebound after the missed shot by the Panthers. Coleman, he drives and he decides to keep it out. Right to a man to man. And we have a turnover by Dothan. <coughs> Geneva's trying to confuse them. They, they once was in a man to man, then they come down and doing a 2-1-2, two, two, and they went back to a man. Johnson. And it goes in to Talbert. Missed. Put back. No good. And Dow comes out with the rebound. And a three-point shot. And it's missed, but it's rebounded by. What do you do? And a push-off is called on A.J. Porter. He picks up a foul. It will be his first. Porter, uh, Dalton's run a one, two, one, one trap. And the ball is knocked out of bounds by Dalton. So we'll stay with the Panthers. The Wolves and Panthers are here tonight. It's a nine, two Wolves lead. Johnson drives, shoots, no good, and it's rebounded and saved to Dow for Dothan. Open three, no good, and the rebound is by Bynum. Panthers drive the baseline up, miss. Dow gets another rebound. Ball goes out and a nice shot, but it won't go for Doyle. And the shot is blocked by Coleman. 
A long three from Dowd, and that time it goes. Thomas Dowd with the three. That gives him five points for the game and puts Stoughton up 12 to 2, 151 left in the um, first. Uh, really, so far, what, what, what have you seen? Well, one of the things is you see Dothan on defense, they, it's almost like a 2-3, but they're coming out, they're trapping on the wings. I noticed that, and, and, and Dothan's got a, a great advantage as far as on the boards. You, you notice even if they shoot on offense, uh, they got guys hitting the board, and they're they, they boxing out. Uh, now Porter hooked that guy on one of those. That's why he got that foul. He reached around and hooked him. And referees, you know, if, even though if you big, they don't like you putting your hand to hook a guy. And that's why they call that foul on Porter. And but Geneva, you know, they was they start off in the man to man, but then they flip, change to a two one two. They going back and forth. But on that on that uh, two one two, uh, I think one of the young men's hit a three pointer, and they they come out of that two one two. They went to a kind of like a basic one on a man to man. But Dothan is kind of like a like I said, it's a three two, a two three, but. They're, they're trapping on the wings, if you notice. They're putting pressure, and they're trapping on their wings, and then they do it using a 1-1, one, one, uh, one, one, full-court press. And the game for Dothan is, uh, let's see, we have number 13 is Coleman, number 12, Peterson. Number 10 is Hornsby, zero is Blackman, and one is Porter. A lot of substitute. Oop. Ball goes into Porter. And he loses it. And the ball's knocked out of bounds off of Dothan. Geneva with just one field goal so far. Dothan gets the loose ball. That's number 10, Hornsby. One thing Dothan's doing, they're trying to run, but they're not running in control. And that's why they're throwing the ball away a lot. Yeah, unofficially, I have them down for five turnovers. <laughs> Long three is short, and it's missed, and it's rebounded by Hornsby over to Blackman. Blackman. Uh, now they went to... Kind of like a 2-3 now. They're in a 2-3 zone. And the shot is blocked. And it's taken by the Panthers. And the shot is missed. And it's rebounded by Dothan. Coleman of Dothan with the rebound. He takes it up, shoots, and he's fouled. That foul is on number 14. That would be Brody Bottom, his first. At the line is number 13, Michael Coleman. Coleman makes his first. Dothan is 3 of 3 from the line tonight. Into the game for Dothan is number 20, Jaden Taylor. And Coleman misses the second shot. Dothan's in a press, and they force a turnover and almost gets the basket. That's that 2 1. 2 1 1. That foul, is, that foul is on number 12, Weeks. At the line is number 10, Bryson Hornsby. His first visit to the free throw line tonight. And he makes the first. And he makes both of his free throws. Score of Dothan 15 to two, leading. That foul is on number 20. Jaden Taylor, his first. Also in the game for Dothan is number 14, Broadway. And the shot is good from Bryson Barton. Makes the first free throw. He'll get another. Yeah. 
Hornsby over to uh, Coleman. Coleman drives the lane, kicks it back out to Broadway, who puts it up and misses, and we have a traveling call against the Wolves. So the ball will go to the Panthers. 14 and a half seconds left in the first. It's a 15 to four Dothan lead. Pass the ball inside and it's stripped away by Dothan. And we've come to the end of one and it scores the Dothan Woods 15, the Geneva Panthers four. We'll be back with second period action after this timeout. You're watching the Sydney Sports Network. Your number one source for high school sports. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. Lewis Smith Supply is dedicated to offering a vast collection of fixtures, faucets, and accessories for your kitchen and bath. Make your dreams a reality. Step into the area's only Kohler Premier Showroom or see Delta's Brizo Collection for the latest trends in kitchen and bathroom designs. Lewis Smith Supply offers an extensive line of plumbing supplies for contractors or do-it-yourselfers. For more inspiration, come visit one of our showrooms in Dothan or Enterprise. The Badcock Home Furniture and More New Year's Clearance event is your time to buy more and save more on all the styles you love. Hurry in to your local Badcock to save 5, 10, 15, or 20% with select minimum purchases. And get a free bedding bundle with any Stanhope mattress set. All in stock and ready to deliver. Don't wait. This clearance sale ends soon. Kick off your New Year in style. Only at Badcock Home Furniture and More. Just right. Thank you for helping Scenic Sports Network reach 100,000 views on our YouTube channel. Watching your favorite high school teams, football and basketball games from the past 20 years. How can you help our YouTube channel grow? Subscribe it's free, just go to YouTube and search for Scenic Sports Network and click on the subscribe and notification button. The more subscribers, the more content. Subscribe now. The Scenic Sports Network, thanks you. 100,000 times. Hello and welcome back to the campus of Dothan High School. We're at the Wolves Den tonight where the Dothan Wolves are taking on the Geneva Panthers. I'm Mick Kirkland with Willa Elder bringing you the action tonight. Dothan leads 15 to 4 at the end of one. And that first period was, was basically Dothan's. They pretty much did what they wanted to. But one thing, they committed quite a few turnovers. So if they can cut down on the turnovers, they can go stretch this lead out. Dow. Kicks it back out to Blackman. Barry, open shot, missed, and Dow gets the rebound. Goes back up and in for two. Thomas Dow with his seventh point of the game. Nice move that time, and it rolls off. And the three-point attempt is missed, and it goes out of bounds off the Wolves, so we'll stay with the Panthers. Seventeen for Dothan Lees. Ball goes into Johnson. Over to uh, the other Johnson. That's uh, Talon Johnson. Number zero is Noah Johnson. And a nice feed and a finish down under the basket. That's number two, Williams. Yeah. 
Down knocks in a, another three. That's the second three of the game. So the ball goes out of bounds. It goes back to Dothan. Raymond Blackman brings it down for the Wolves. Into his own. Back to a man to me. Down over to Menifee. Nothing spread the floor out. They're leading 20 to 6. We played two minutes of the second period. They've had another five points here in this period. They led 15 to 4 at the end of one. They're now 20 to 6, and they commit a, another turnover. And a shot, and it's good. A three pointer that time from Evan Griffin. That gives him five points. Menifee, Barry drives, he goes up, and he draws the foul. That foul's on number 11, Johnson. At the line is number four, Bryson Barry. He's two of two from the line with two points. Into the game for Dothan is number 13 and number 11. Number 13 is Coleman and number 11 is Doyle. Barry with his second and he misses it, but he gets the rebound and they call it for traveling. Dothan's lead in 20 to 9. And it's a didn't even count a turnover. That's still by number three, Stampley. Wide open and missed, and it's rebounded by Johnson, Talon Johnson. Over to Noah Johnson. And ball goes over to Williams and the Griffin. Shot from the corner, missed, and it's rebounded by Blackman out on the break. And it's out of bounds off of number 11, uh, Johnson. So it stays with the Wolves. Stampley. Drive up and he tries to make a cross court pass and it goes out of bounds. And <laughs> Dothan is still committing too many turnovers. Sometimes it happens like that, Mitt, when you have a, you know, inferior team. And Dothan's a lot better in, in Geneva, but you, you play down to it rather than going on just play your ball. But you get sloppy. And back into the game for the Wolves is number one, A.J. Porter. In right now is number 11, Doario. Number 13, Coleman. Number four is uh, Barry. And number 12 is Peterson. No running. Stream there. <laughs> Moving stream. Nice drive to the basket. AJ Porter with the rebound and the put back for two. That's Porter's first basket. Dothan goes up 22 to 9. And and Dothan uh, forces a turnover. Barry. And traveling called on Peterson. Unofficially, that's 10 turnovers for the Wolves Ooh. here in the first half. 
Ball goes in. A long pass to Noah Johnson, and he goes in and he's fouled. That foul is on number 11, Adrian Doyle. At the line is number zero, Noah Johnson. Johnson. First attempt is off the mark. Back into the game for Doth is the number zero, Raymond Blackman coming out as number four, Bryson Berry. Second attempt is good by Johnson. That's his first points of the game. It's a 22 to 20, uh, 10 game. Ball goes in to Porter and he tells a spin move and it goes in for two. Porter with two baskets in a row. Nice reverse layup that time from number two. That's Landon Williams. That gives him four points for the game. 24 to 12, Dothan Lees. And it's a three coming from Raymond Blackman. That's his first points of the game. And ball goes out of bounds off of the Panthers. So it will be the Wolves ball. This is a non-conference game. Dothan won the area by defeating Jeff Davis. And they are the area, 7A area three champions uh, the, for the regular season. Into the game for Dothan number 22, Jaden Cox. Pass goes in to Peterson. Ball goes out of bounds off of Dothan. 27 12, 248 left in the first half. Dothan leads. Wide open shot, and it's missed and it's rebounded by Peterson of Dothan. Open shot in the corner, miss. A nice assist under the basket by Blackman to Porter. Porter has six points. Good ball movement by the Panthers and the basket. That's number 13, Tarbert, his first points of the game. One fifty-one left in the first half. That foul is on number twelve. Peterson. Leaves the team in the bonus, so it's a non-shooting foul. Ball goes into Williams. Open three is knocked down by Caden Weeks. <laughs> and right back with the three is Adrian Doyle, who had a couple of really big threes against Jeff Davis to help Dothan win. Shot, and it's a three. That time from number four, Bryson Barton. That gives him five points. Geneva County seemed to be warming up a little bit. They've hit a couple of baskets in a row. Shot missed, and Porter gets the rebound, powers his way up, and it's rebounded by Tarbert. 
Oh, a shot is missed by Geneva County and is saved by Peterson and he's fouled. That foul is on number four, Bryson Barton. Brought away inbounds the ball to number 10, Hornsby. 38 seconds left in the first half. Brought away, goes for a three and knocks it in. So Delphine is warming up from behind the three point line. They've gone up 35 to 20. 20 seconds left in the first half. That foul is on number 11, Doyle. It's second. At the line is number 13, Tarbert. Tarbert has two points. This is his first visit to the foul line. And that one's good. So Tarbert gets a, another. And he gets the roll on the seconds. So it's a 35-22 Dothan lead. 15 seconds left in the half. Brought away. He drives. He goes up off the glass for two. Bartaway has come off the bench and put up five points here in the period. So Dalton takes a 37 to 22 lead into halftime. So we'll be back with second half action after this timeout. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. Your number one source for high school sports. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. Lewis Smith Supply is dedicated to offering a vast collection of fixtures, faucets, and accessories for your kitchen and bath. Make your dreams a reality. Step into the area's only Kohler Premier Showroom or see Delta's Brizo Collection for the latest trends in kitchen and bathroom designs. Lewis Smith Supply offers an extensive line of plumbing supplies for contractors or do-it-yourselfers. For more inspiration, come visit one of our showrooms in Dothan or Enterprise. The Badcock Home Furniture and More New Year's Clearance event is your time to buy more and save more on all the styles you love. Hurry in to your local Badcock to save 5, 10, 15, or 20% with select minimum purchases. And get a free bedding bundle with any Stanhope mattress set. All in stock and ready to deliver. Don't wait. This clearance sale ends soon. Kick off your New Year in style. Only at Badcock Home Furniture and More. Just right. Thank you for helping Scenic Sports Network reach 100,000 views on our YouTube channel. Watching your favorite high school teams, football and basketball games from the past 20 years. How can you help our YouTube channel grow? Subscribe it's free, just go to YouTube and search for Scenic Sports Network and click on the subscribe and notification button. The more subscribers, the more content. Subscribe now. The Scenic Sports Network, thanks you. 100,000 times. Hello and welcome back to Dothan High as the Dothan Wolves take on the Geneva Panthers. I'm Nick Kirkland with Willie Elder bringing you the action. Dothan's up by, the yeah, action up by 30, uh, up by 22, 55 to 33. And Willie, you made a, a very good point that um, even though Geneva's down, these guys have really been putting up a, a, an outstanding effort. 
They have. That. I mean, you know you kind of out, or as talent-wise, you, you got better talent. And, but still, you know, you got heart. You, you, Porter goes up, misses, and rebound and put back by Coma. That's good. Taylor, excuse me, Taylor with his first basket of the game. Ball goes out of bounds. It stays with the Panthers. <laughs> Open up 57-33. Right there. Uh, yeah, it was a, oh. a good look, but they lost the ball. I tell you, Geneva is they all over the place defensively. Yes. And it's rebounded by Bottom. Over to uh, Johnson. Johnson drives the lane, puts it up, and it's partially blocked. Dothan gets the ball. Porter off the glass for two more. A.J. Porter with his 10th point of the game. Had six points in the first half. He's added four more here in the second half. And a steal by Dothan. And the left is good. Cameron Peterson with two. His first points of the game. Dothan has gone up 6-1 to one at 33. Johnson, Span, over the weeks. Drive down the middle of the lane, no go. Rebounded by Porter. Out to Peterson. We're down to five and a half minutes left in the game. Nice drive and layup by number 10, Braxton Hornsby. That's Hornsby's fourth point of the game. And it's another steal. And the shot is missed, and it's rebounded by Bynum. And he gets the shot off, and substitutions into the game for Dothan is number 11 and number 14. Number 11 is Adrian Doyle and number... Uh, 14 is brought away. Shot up, missed, and it's rebounded by Hornsby. And it goes over to Peterson. Excuse me, over the door. And a big three that time for number 10, Brighton Hornsby. That gives him uh, seven points for the game. And the steal by Broadway and we have a foul. And some people wondering why they still pressing, but these these kids are they're not starters, and you know you, you have to see what you got, and that's the reason why they're they playing just like hey they were behind. And, and this is really good experience. Good coming, experience. Good experience for them because you never know what's going to happen in the playoffs. The playoffs are coming up, and um, that's 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 the meat of everything. Right. At the line is Broadway, number 14. He has five points. He had a three in the first half. His first field goal was a three, and he hit another field goal to make it. So he makes a free throw. And I'm not sure, Mick, but I'm, a couple of these kids might be on the JV team that moved up. I'm not sure. He makes one of two. That gives him six points for the game. And that basket is good by number 13, Coleman. And another steal by Dothan. And it goes out of bounds off nope. the fingertip. Well, they saved well, it. I thought he, I but, thought he saved it. <laughs> but it goes out of bounds off Dothan. Into the game for Dothan, number 22, Jaden Cox. Leave it as number 10, Braxton Hornsby. 
in the game right now for Dolphins, number 13, Coleman, number 22, Cox, number 20 is uh, Taylor, number 14 is Broadway, and number 11 is uh, Doyle. You got a lot of freshmen and sophomores in there? Yeah, I'm not sure. Well, you know, uh, we talked about uh, all of them getting the opportunity to play tonight and get some time on the court because I'm telling you, when you get in the meat of things in the playoffs, you're going to need that. You never that, know. That, you, you never know that you may need that. those guys coming off the bench and contributing. Right, and if they, and if they play now, they won't see me so much as nervous when you call on them because they have that game, you know, game time experience, and that's great. So we uh, have three minutes and 23 seconds left. It's a 69-33 Dothan lead. The Panthers with the ball. Nice pull-up shot, missed, and it's rebounded by Dothan. It goes over to Doyle. Doyle goes for a three, and it's short. Put back is good by Taylor. Jaden Taylor with the basket. 71-33. Taylor goes for the steal, and he draws the foul. That's only the second team foul of the half of Dothan, so it's a non-shooting foul. Brennan. Span. And a long pass. And it's stolen by Dothan. It's a Geneva counter tur Geneva turnover. And a long three missed and Taylor gets the rebound, and it rims out, and it's rebounded by Span. He gets it over to Brennan. And the shot up, missed, and it goes out of bounds off the Panthers. Back into the game for Dothan is number 12, Peterson, and leaving is number 13, Coleman. Dothan has been able to empty the bench tonight. And the subs, subs have done a, a good job tonight. A great job. Really. A great job. <laughs> Taylor shoots a high three. <laughs> he knocks it in. Jane Taylor with his seventh point of the game. Nice shot that Good time shot. for number 33, Span. That's four points for Span. 74-35, just over one minute left here in the fourth period of play. Dothan on top 70, on top uh, 74 to 35 with one minute. We'll see if they go for another. Woo! <laughs> I tell you what, Taylor has Ooh. hit two high top threes. Hey, boy, <laughs> he's come off the pitch and done a good job. Shot up, missed, and it's rebounded by Peterson. And he feeds it over to number 22, Cox, who puts up points. Cox's is first points of the game. <laughs> Three missed, and Taylor gets the rebound. They don't, they he's they he's don't gonna get, get him some more playing time. Taylor is shot. Oh, off the glass, oh. no go <laughs> for Peterson. <laughs> oh, a what big a shot! Three that time for number ten. Great shot, that's, Yeah, that's five points for him. Oh, and oh. that's gonna be the end of the game. Dalton wins at seventy-nine to thirty-eight, and. It was a, a, a big win for Dothan tonight because uh, they lost their previous game. They failed to Charles Henderson 70 to 60, but they came back the next uh, last night. They defeated the Helen Rams 61 to 22, and they went again again tonight 79 to 38. Willie, any any comments? No, right. Be honest with you, that's a good. That was a good like his, these games, Lakes Cup of games. Like matter of fact, the last three games. It's almost like a tune-up games uh, for the area because, you know, they don't be playing better competition uh, when you get into area play. 
But this is good experience for the, the, the kids that haven't played that much. Uh, it's, it's for the coach to look at uh, his reserves, and, and I, I, the reserve put on a great show tonight. And uh, Friday night, senior night, so uh, hopefully he'll be able to play everybody then. Yeah, and uh, you had a couple of players that come off the bench and, and really do a good job. And one of them was number 20, Jaden Taylor, who came off the bench, and uh, he put up 10 points all coming in the second half. He had a couple of threes here in the closing <laughs> minutes of the game. And that's good for a big fella. I mean, you know, you, you figure he'd be in, inside, but, hey, these days uh, you big guys, uh, you know, because of how they, you know, back in the day you, you wouldn't see a big guy shoot a three-pointer, but – these days, hey, it's not surprising. Okay, kind of recapping the scoring by Pierce. Dothan led 15 to 4 at the end of one. They took a 37 22 lead into halftime, a 55 33 lead into the fourth, and they went at 79 to 38. Now, looking at the scoring for the Geneva uh, Panthers, uh, leading score for them was number 25. Evan Griffin, who has seven points, four points from uh, number 13, Tarbert, four points from uh, Trent Spann, number 33, one point from number zero, uh, Johnson, three points from Talon Johnson, number 11, five points from Bryson Barton, uh, and five points from from Threat, four points from Landon Williams, three points from Caden Weeks, and four points from Kingston Tarbert, and two points from Brody Bynum. Now, the leading scorer for Dothan was number five, Thomas Dowd, who had 19 points, uh, A.J. Porter had 10 points, three points from Raymond Blackman, eight points from Menifee, two points from Stampley, two points from Barry, seven points from Hornsby, three points from Doyle, two points from Peterson, four points from Coleman, six points from Broadway, and uh, 10 points from Taylor, and two points from Cox. So the scoring was spread across the board for the, the Wolves. They, they did a, a good job tonight uh, winning it. 79 to 38. So Willie, on behalf of Willie Elder, this is Mick Kirkland saying good night and thank you for watching the City Sports Network. So Dothan has taken a 19 point lead. They have 45 26, just under five minutes left in the third period. Pass over to Threat. Baseline drive and uh, and that's an offensive foul call against number four, Bryson Barton. His second. Down into Blackman. Ball goes to Blackman. And the Porter. He goes up with a reverse layup and he's foul, so he's going to the line to shoot too. That foul is on number 13, I believe. At the line is A.J. Porter. He has six points. And he misses the first. Uh, he misses and Dow gets the rebound and the put back. So Dow has come up and He's hit six points in the second half. He had 10 in the first. And Blackman gets the steal and draws the foul. Foul is on number 13, three. Threat. Non-shooting foul. 47-26, Dothan up by 21. Good rotation by the Wolves. And the shot is missed and rebounded by Bynum. Yeah. 
Big shot. Tip in, no good. Rebounded by Menifee of Dothan. Blackman to Menifee, back over to Blackman. Over in the corner, Dowd, and he goes for a three, and he knocks it in. Thomas Dowd. That's his third three of the game. So Dowd has 19 points. And with 3.24 left in the third, Dothan's up 50 to 26. And while we have a break here, I want to remind you about our YouTube channel. Go to YouTube and uh, type in the search bar, Scenic Sports Network, or you can just hold your phone up to the screen right now and scan our QR code and uh, tune into our YouTube channel to see this game and many more. You can also see these games on Spectrum Cable number 304, channel 304 on the Spectrum Cable system in the Dothan Enterprise area. And if you would, go on and subscribe to Scenic Sports Network, uh, and you will be notified. Hit the notification button, and you'll get free updates, and you will be uh, uh, informed or notified when there's new video content uploaded to our YouTube channel. That's YouTube, and go to Scenic Sports Network. And if you go there, we have over 400, over 400 high school basketball and football games and some other sports from the past 20 plus years. So go there and you may find uh, one of your favorite games that you haven't seen in a long time. And if you didn't get a chance to attend the Hoops Classic, we have uh, almost the entire Hoops Classic from 2022 on there. Shot from the corner, a long shot, and it hits the top of the backboard, so it's out of bounds. It's Dothan's ball. Ball goes into Raymond Blackman. In the game for Dothan is number zero Blackman, number two Menifee, number 20 is Taylor. Number one is Porter. Wide open three. And also in the game for Dolphins, number 13, Coleman. And Coleman shoots, and it bounces in for two. Coleman's first basket of the game. Dolphins up 52-26. And ball goes out of bounds off Dothan, so it will stay with the Panthers. The ball goes out of bounds. And it stays with the Panthers. Hmm. And for Dothan is number 10, Braxton Horns be leaving. It's number zero, Raymond Blackman. Yeah. Dothan has been able to play their entire bench tonight. 52-26, just over two minutes left in the third. And a nice shot that time nice for shot. number 14, Bynum for two. Good back door. There's a cheek right there. So the ball stays with Dothan. Taking it out for Dothan's number 10, Braxton Hornsby. Into Menifee. It's good to see him back. He was out in the game against uh, Jeff Davis. And the layup is no go. Williams. And the ball is stolen by Porter. And he goes for the slam and miss it. <laughs> and <laughs> put back is no good. <laughs> oh, my God. I think he got a little anxious there. Yeah, he got a little anxious. The foul is on number 13, Tarbert. Oh. Going to the line is Menifee. 
This is his first visit to the foul line tonight. He has seven points. Not too hard. One thing you must say, Mitt, Geneva is really not backing down. I mean, they being outplayed, but they they're playing hard. They're really. playing hard. Yeah, they're, they're, they're playing, playing very hard. hard. Mm -hmm. I've been very impressed with the mm -hmm. effort they put up tonight. And Menifee makes that one, makes one of two. That gives him five, seven, eight points. Nothing up 53 to 28. A long three and it's rebounded by Weeks. Somebody Shot went to sleep. up is good. That's right, number 33 span with this first basket. Yep. Somebody went to sleep on that one. Points me. Looking for help. And they throw the ball away. Shot up, missed, and a good second effort that time by number 11, Johnson, who keeps it alive. Three-point attempt, missed, and rebounded by Taylor. And Delton loses it. Well, you got some guys out there hadn't played that and much together. Big three that time for number 11, Talon Johnson. That's his first basket of the game. Delton on top by 20, 53-33. Porter drives, lays it off the glass for two. A.J. Porter with his eighth point. And a good effort that time by Taylor. He almost came up with the steal. The ball stays with the Panthers. 1.4 seconds left in the third. It's a 55-33 Delton lead. And we've come to the end of three, and the score is Delton 55, Geneva 33. We'll be back with a fourth period of action after this timeout. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. Your number one source for high school sports. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. Lewis Smith Supply is dedicated to offering a vast collection of fixtures, faucets, and accessories for your kitchen and bath. Make your dreams a reality. Step into the area's only Kohler Premier Showroom or see Delta's Brizo Collection for the latest trends in kitchen and bathroom designs. Lewis Smith Supply offers an extensive line of plumbing supplies for contractors or do-it-yourselfers. For more inspiration, come visit one of our showrooms in Dothan or Enterprise. The Badcock Home Furniture and More New Year's Clearance event is your time to buy more and save more on all the styles you love. Hurry in to your local Badcock to save 5, 10, 15, or 20% with select minimum purchases. And get a free bedding bundle with any Stanhope mattress set. All in stock and ready to deliver. Don't wait. This clearance sale ends soon. Kick off your New Year in style. Only at Badcock Home Furniture and More. Just right. Thank you for helping Scenic Sports Network reach 100,000 views on our YouTube channel. Watching your favorite high school teams, football and basketball games from the past 20 years. How can you help our YouTube channel grow? Subscribe it's free, just go to YouTube and search for Scenic Sports Network and click on the subscribe and notification button. The more subscribers, the more content. Subscribe now. The Scenic Sports Network, thanks you. 100,000 times. Hello and welcome back to Dothan High as the Dothan Wolves take on the Geneva Panthers. I'm Nick Kirkland with Willie Elder bringing you the action. Dothan's up by 
Yeah, actually up by 30, uh, up by 22, 55 to 33. And Willie, you made a, a very good point that um, even though Geneva's down, these guys have really been putting up a, a, an outstanding effort. They have. I mean, you know you kind of out, or as talent-wise, you, you got better talent, and, but still, you know, you got heart. You, you. Porter goes up, misses, and rebound and put back by Coleman is good. Taylor, excuse me, Taylor with his first basket of the game. Ball goes out of bounds. It stays with the Panthers. Those are now 57-33. Right there. Uh, yeah, it's a, oh. a good look, but they lost the ball. I tell you, Geneva is they all over the place defensively. Yes. And it's rebounded by Bottom. Over to uh, Johnson. Johnson drives the lane, puts it up, and it's partially blocked. Dothan gets the ball. Porter off the glass for two more. A.J. Porter with his 10th point of the game. Had six points in the first half. He's added four more here in the second half. And a steal by Dothan. And the lap is good. Cameron Peterson with two. His first points of the game. Dothan has gone up 6-1 to at 33. Johnson, Span, over the weeks. Drive down the middle of the lane, no go. Rebounded by Porter. Out to Peterson. We're down to five and a half minutes left in the game. Nice drive and layup by number 10, Braxton Hornsby. That's Hornsby's fourth point of the game. And it's another steal. And the shot is missed and it's rebounded by Bynum. And he gets the shot off and substitutions into the game for Dalton is number 11 and number 14. Number 11 is Adrian Doyle and number 14 is brought away. Shot up, missed, and it's rebounded by Hornsby. And it goes over to Peterson. Excuse me, over the door. And a big three that time for number 10, Reichsman Hornsby. That gives him uh, seven points for the game. And the steal by Broadway and we have a foul. And some people wonder why they're still pressing, but these these kids are, they're not starters. And, you know, you, you have to see what you got. And that's the reason why they're, they're playing just like, hey, they were behind. And, and this is really good experience. Good coming, experience. Good experience for them because you never know what's going to happen in the playoffs. The playoffs are coming up. And um, that's, that's, that's the meat of everything. Right. At the line is Broadway, number 14. He has five points. He had a three in the first half. His first field goal was a three, and he hit another field goal to make it. So he makes a free throw. And I'm not sure, Mick, but I'm, a couple of these kids might be on the JV team that moved up. I'm not sure. He makes one of two. That gives him six points for the game. And that basket is good by number 13, Coleman.
And another steal by Dothan. And it goes out of bounds off nope. the fingertip. Well, they saved well, it. I thought he, I but, thought he saved it. <laughs> but it goes out of bounds off Dothan. Into the game for Dothan, number 22, Jaden Cox. Leave it as number 10, Braxton Hornsby. In the game right now for Dothan's number 13, Coleman, number 22, Cox. Number 20 is uh, Taylor. Number 14 is Broadway. And number 11 is uh, Doyle. You got a lot of freshmen and sophomores in there? Yeah. I'm not sure. Well, you know, uh, we talked about uh, all of them getting the opportunity to play tonight and get some time on the court because I'm telling you, when you get in the meat of things in the playoffs, you're going to need that. You never that, know. That, you, you never know that you may need that, those guys coming off the bench and contributing. Right, and if they, and if they play now, they won't see me so much as nervous when you call on them because they have that game, you know, game time experience, and that's great. So we uh, have three minutes and 23 seconds left. It's the 69-33 Dothan lead. The Panthers with the ball. Nice pull-up shot, missed, and it's rebounded by Dothan. It goes over to Doyle. Doyle goes for a three, and it's short. Put back is good by Taylor. Jaden Taylor with the basket. 71-33. Taylor goes for the steal, and he draws the five. That's only the second team foul of the half of Dothan, so it's a non-shooting foul. Brennan, Span, and a long pass. And it's stolen by Dothan. It's a Geneva counter tur Geneva turnover. And a long three missed. And Taylor gets the rebound. And it rims out. And it's rebounded by Span. He gets it over to Brennan. And the shot up, missed, and it goes out of bounds off the Panthers. Back into the game for Dothan is number 12, Peterson, and leaving is number 13, Coleman. Dothan has been able to empty the bench tonight. And the subs, subs have done a, a good job tonight. A great job. Really. A great job. <laughs> Taylor shoots a high three. <laughs> he knocks it in. Jane Taylor with his seventh point of the game. Nice shot that time for number 33, Span. That's four points for Span. 74-35, just over one minute left here in the fourth period of play. Both in on top 70. On top, uh, 74 to 35 with one minute. We'll see if they go for another. Woo! <laughs> I tell you what, Taylor has Ooh. hit two high top threes. Hey. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> he's come off the pitch and done a good job. Shot up, missed, and is rebounded by Peterson. And he feeds it over to number 22, Cox, who puts up points. Cox's first points of the game. <laughs> Three missed, and Taylor gets the rebound. He's, he's going to get, get him some more playing time. Taylor is. Shot. Oh, off the glass. Oh. No go. <laughs> for Peterson. <laughs> Oh, and a what big a shot. three that time for number 10. Great shot. Great. That's, yeah, that's five points for him. Oh, and oh. that's going to be the end of the game. Dothan wins at 79 to 38. And it was a, a, a big win for Dothan tonight because uh, they lost their previous game. They failed to Charles Henderson 70 to 60. But they came back the next uh, – 
Last night, they defeated the Hill and Rams 61 to 22, and they went again, again tonight 79 to 38. Willie, any, any comments? No, right. Be honest with you, that's a good. That was a good. Like, these games, like a couple games, like, matter of fact, the last three games, it's almost like a tune up games uh, for the area because, you know, they don't be playing better competition uh, when you get into area play. But this is good experience for the, the, the kids that haven't played that much. Uh, it's, it's for the coach to look at uh, his reserves, and, and uh, the reserves put on a great show tonight. And uh, Friday night, senior night, so uh, hopefully he'll be able to play everybody then. Yeah, and uh, you had a couple of players that come off the bench and, and really do a good job. And one of them was number 20, Jaden Taylor, who came off the bench. And uh, he put up 10 points all coming in the second half. He had a couple of threes here in the closing minutes of the game. And that's good for a big fella. I mean, you know, you, you figure he'd be in, inside, but, hey, these days, uh, you big guys, uh, you know, because of how they, you know, back in the day, you, you wouldn't see a big guy shoot a three-pointer. But these days, hey, it's not surprising. Okay, kind of recapping the scoring by Pierce. Dothan led 15 to four at the end of one. They took a 37-22 lead into halftime, a 55-33 lead into the fourth, and they went at 79 to 38. Now, looking at the scoring for the Geneva uh, Panthers, uh, leading score for them was number 25, Evan Griffin, who had seven points, four points from uh, number 13, Tarbert, four points from uh, Trent Spann, number 33, one point from number zero, uh, Johnson, three points from Talon Johnson, number 11, five points from Bryson Barton, uh, and five points from, from Threat, four points from Landon Williams, three points from Caden Weeks, and four points from Kingston Tarbert, and two points from Brody Bynum. Now, the leading scorer for Dothan was number five, Thomas Dowd, who had 19 points. Uh, A.J. Porter had 10 points, three points from Raymond Blackman, eight points from Menifee, two points from Stampley, two points from Barry, seven points from Hornsby, three points from Doyle, two points from Peterson, four points from Coleman, six points from Broadway, and uh, 10 points from Taylor and two points from Cox. So the scoring was spread across the board for the, the Wolves. They, they did a, a good job tonight uh, winning it 79 to 38. So Willie, on behalf of Willie Elder, this is Mick Kirkland saying good night and thank you for watching the City Sports Network. Your number one source for high school sports. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. Lewis Smith Supply is dedicated to offering a vast collection of fixtures, faucets, and accessories for your kitchen and bath. Make your dreams a reality. Step into the area's only Kohler Premier Showroom or see Delta's Brizo Collection for the latest trends in kitchen and bathroom designs. Lewis Smith Supply offers an extensive line of plumbing supplies for contractors or do-it-yourselfers. For more inspiration, come visit one of our showrooms in Dothan or Enterprise. The Badcock Home Furniture and More New Year's Clearance event is your time to buy more and save more on all the styles you love. Hurry in to your local Badcock to save 5, 10, 15, or 20% with select minimum purchases. And get a free bedding bundle with any Stanhope mattress set. All in stock and ready to deliver. Don't wait. This clearance sale ends soon. Kick off your New Year in style. Only at Badcock Home Furniture and More. Just right. Thank you for helping Scenic Sports Network reach 100,000 views on our YouTube channel. Watching your favorite high school teams, football and basketball games from the past 20 years. How can you help our YouTube channel grow? Subscribe it's free, just go to YouTube and search for Scenic Sports Network and click on the subscribe and notification button. The more subscribers, the more content. Subscribe now.
The Scenic Sports Network thanks you 100,000 times. Your number one source for high school sports. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. At 14 to 8 after one, they took a 25 22 lead in the halftime, but they stressed it out in the third and fourth period. They uh, the score at the end of three was 45 33, and then the final score was 65 to 52. Now, the lead score for the Lehigh Generals. Uh, number two, Hudson had nine points. Number five, Dees had 12 points, 11 points. And number 10, Jackson, uh, 13 points from number 13. Uh, let's see, is that 13 points? Four, six, eight. Yeah, 13 points from uh, number 13, uh, Cheney, and two points from 24, McGree, and four points from number 22. Now, for Dothan, the lead scorer tonight was uh, Menifee, he had 17 points, 10 points coming from A.J. Porter. And Porter had a big night tonight. All 10 of his points came in the second half. Raymond Blackman had 8 points, 5 points from Keith Stantley, 9 points from uh, Bryson Berry, 10 points from Thomas Dow, 2 points from Hornsby, 5 from Doyle, and uh, 2 from Taylor, and 1 from Broadway to wrap up the score. So the Dothan Wolves, a very impressive victory considering they won by two points in Montgomery. They stressed it out tonight and they go to 16 and 3 for the season. So, on behalf of uh, Gavin Thomas, this is Mick Kirkland saying good night and thanks for watching the City Sports Network. Your number one source for high school sports. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network.